it has been three years or one ninth of my entire life to date um, since I last logged into this YouTube channel, uh, let alone made a vlog. So yeah, I know the last few have been sporadic and I've started them all saying it's been a while, but this time, yeah, it kind of has really been a while. You might be thinking it looks like I haven't had my hair cut since the last one, which is pretty much right. I'm very aware that I both look and feel massively unconfident and awkward, uh, like being on camera. Uh, it's like it's all brand new again. And yeah, it's weird, man. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I hope you're all doing very well, uh, those of you that are left. And uh, yeah, I hope you're, you're not too too old to give old Keppelmarsh a click <laughs> these days. I hope you like my very jazzy pyjamas that are not in fact pyjamas, they're just clothes that I bought. You don't have to buy pyjamas. You don't have to wear pyjamas to bed. You can just wear clothes to bed. You can wear nothing to bed. I'm being wacky and zany to detract from how obviously camera shy I am. I kind of just wanted to have a go at doing a vlog. Um, and I figured why not do the old tried and tested format of a day in the life. Um, not today, this is the evening before, uh, but I just figured it's Saturday tomorrow, I don't know, vlog it, talk about it, see what happens. This is my bed mole, he sits above my bed and is a mole. And in the night I fuck him. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. The plan then is that uh, I actually have some job interviews coming up and I've perhaps allowed myself to, uh, what's the phrase? I don't want to say let myself go, but equally, come on, <laughs> let's be reasonable here. So perhaps I have got a little comfortable uh, in my current role. And so yeah, casting the net, um, none too desperately for other opportunities and with job interviews come Zoom calls and actually presenting myself in a semi-professional way. So uh, yeah, the sort of out of control Beethoven hair is got to go. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Got a haircut. Um, and then I thought I would do, just for old time's sake, um, I'll do a bit of a cooking vlog. I'll make something, some kind of meal. I've no idea what yet. Maybe just rooting through the covers to see what I've got and, and uh, making what I can with it. And I'll just chat to you while I I don't know, chop vegetables, fry onions. It'll be like ready, steady, cook. Only I'm obviously, I'm no Ainsley. So that's the ostensible plan. Um, but in truth, I just, I just kind of wanted to say hi. Hi guys, how are you doing? Let's see how this perfectly ordinary Saturday goes. Good morning. It is 11 a.m., uh, a little later than I planned to start vlogging, uh, but I was just so excited to be back at it last night that I actually uh, stayed up till about 1 a.m. editing uh, what I'd already filmed. And it's weird how it kind of comes back very quickly. Not so much the being on camera, <laughs> evidently, but the um, even stuff like the keyboard shortcuts and stuff to just like quickly and efficiently uh, trim down the video. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. There's a little, a little hint, a little preview. Although you've actually already seen it, so I guess it's not a preview at all. So I ended up not actually getting out of bed until about 10, about an hour ago. In that hour, I figured I would give myself a little trim down below. Uh, not like down below, but you know, on, on the underside. Well, <laughs> alright, no euphemisms. I thought I would shave my face beard. I just figure I might as well look as presentable as possible, which I fully acknowledge I currently don't. I've still got a little while before my appointment. Um, and I don't really know what I'm going to do with that time, except to sip some fine, fine coffee. This is my office, by the way. My lovely, lovely, uh, I think, walnut desk. I don't know, some kind of wood that's a nut. The room you currently see me in is actually my writing room, um, because I'm pretentious. But I also did need somewhere for my computer to go, <laughs> so temporarily in residence. But yeah, the eventual plan for this room is that I'm going to have, obviously, my writing desk. I'm going to have, uh, I've got my bookshelves, I've got my books, and I quite like a couple of armchairs just for like a nice little reading spot. Bookshelves, you see? And that's my, I don't think I've ever shown that actually, my portrait of um, Dopey the Hamster, which I had commissioned. Beautiful boy. Where is he? Good you, good you, good you. I know I said this is like day in the life, um, which is just what I call these kind of videos. I've done, this is my third ever. It's not like it's a well-established uh, feature of the channel, but this is possibly one of the least representative uh, days I could have chosen. And that is because uh, Ruth is not here for the weekend and that's kind of why I'm doing the video is because I've got nothing else to do um, and if Ruth were here I would probably 
you know, I'd rather just be kind of spending time with her um, rather than sitting by myself talking to a camera like a weirdo. Basically, the vlog is a lie, is what I'm saying. Right, immediate order of the day. Uh, something for breakfast and then a haircut and fingers crossed it'll be a good one. I never like my hair after it's cut. That's how I end up like this. I mean, maybe? Yeah, I think pretty difficult to deny that's an improvement. Um, I don't know, do I look at least 20% more employable? And indeed, employed? <laughs> it was actually, as the haircut experience goes, um, pretty good. I really don't like getting haircuts, uh, not just because I'm a long-haired delinquent, but um, I just don't like having people touching me, really. Um, but no, the guy who cut my hair was really good, um, very friendly, um, although sort of gently roasted me throughout the whole haircut, telling me I looked like when people were just coming out of lockdown and hadn't had a haircut in months, and yeah. Um, but in a, in a sort of jovial way, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan of quite how much this exposes my receding hairline. Um, you know, I went in there expecting to pay for a haircut, not an existential crisis, but such is life. Anyway, that's the main event of the day, um, and perhaps of the year, really, me getting a haircut. I always have a shower immediately after a haircut, which is, of course, an excuse to get back into the pyjamas. Uh, or bedclothes, I should say. Now you know the secret, yeah? Big pyjama wants to keep you ignorant, yeah? Know what I'm saying? What do we think? Good angle? Bad angle? Is the extractor fan gonna make this entirely pointless? Can you hear me? Oh, no. Do I just do a cook without the extractor fan for once? Is that bad? Is my house gonna fall down? I'm sure it'll be fine. Once, ever, maybe, right? I've selected my initial ingredients. There's one rule here though, you are not allowed to judge me until you see the final product, okay? So, what have we gone for? It's a chicken meal. That's gonna be our protein. That's gonna be accompanied by some red onion, lovely stuff. That's an absolute shit ton of garlic. That's like four cloves. Uh, here's where we get interesting. Some cabbage, and some leftover beans. Lastly, I'm gonna attempt, for the first time in my life, to cook with a stout. Uh, this is a, a stout from Turning Point. It is uh, Krenakatoa. I assume there's some obvious pun in there I'm missing, but it is a raspberry and honey double stout, 8.4% volume. I don't know if that's gonna be a waste of a really good stout, but I mean, you gotta try these things, don't you? My intent here is to create uh, some kind of chicken stew. Um, and with the stout, my thinking is like, I don't know, you put red wine in, in food and it suddenly becomes fancy, doesn't it? So that's the logic, that's what I'm sticking with, that's what I'm stuck with. I'm just gonna give it a go. I only have 40 minutes recording time uh, on this camera, so I don't know how that's gonna work exactly. I might have to kind of stop halfway through and transfer files to my computer and, it's all gonna be a load of fun um, that you don't really need to know about, so I don't know why I'm telling you. I was gonna try and have like a dual camera setup, except the only other camera I have is my phone, and I don't have a phone tripod, and I was just kind of balance it on books and things, and it just wasn't happening, it wasn't working for me. Uh, so, I'll, I don't know, I'll take some pictures, take some videos throughout, and give you a picture in picture, um, because I'm sure everyone really cares exactly what the pan looks like at various times during the cooking. So, that's what we're gonna do, and we'll start, as all good recipes should, with a little bit of oil. I'm using sunflower oil. I know people espouse the virtues of various different oils and say, oh, that one's bad, that one's good, this one's whatever. Um, I've got my tiny little baby glass here, blood, sweat, and beers, for some reason. <laughs> and let's just see. Oh yeah. Right, that's already probably like a third of a can, so I might not even drink all of this, just, I just kind of want to try it as it is. Ooh, okay, interesting. Um, the strongest scent for me is raspberry, which obviously it did say, it's a, you know, what was it, raspberry and honey, um, and it's, I believe, an imperial stout, hence the, uh, the percentage. But yeah, raspberry isn't the scent you generally expect, I thought that might be more of a background uh, vibe, but yeah. Well, let's give it a go. Mm. Um, generally speaking, among my very, very favourite of all drinks are Imperial Stouts. Um, 
but I'm also quite picky about them. And I'm gonna to need to give this one a few, few more tries, I think. Okay, so I think my verdict on this is that the kind of base stout is really, really nice, very tasty. It's just that kind of foreground flavour of the raspberry that I'm not really getting on with. Um, so I sound like such a wanker, don't I? I know, I know. Um, <laughs> if you, I have gone all in on the um, wanky craft beers, just in case you're curious. So I don't know that I'd recommend this one, especially since I paid for this uh, 300, oh, 440ml can, I beg your pardon, uh, I paid more than I paid for some wines, it was £7.25, um, so yeah, probably wouldn't be picking that one up again. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to drink anymore, but I am actually hopeful that that's going to be quite nice in context of a stew. Um, just kind of really rich flavour, and hopefully the raspberry will be uh, hidden by all the, I don't know, garlic and shit. It would have saved a lot of time if I had been eating the oil while I was faffing about just now, but we live and learn. So my idea... You don't have one, do you? <laughs> the very vague idea is to make a stew. And I think I'm going to do it with some dumplings, because otherwise I'm a bit low on the carbs for this meal. Um, so yeah, chicken, dumplings, stew. It's a classic. It's a bit more of a winter classic than a sort of early August um, type of do, but you know what? I, I like stews, so I'm going to make a stew and stew can't stop me. I am uh, not much of a chef, it has to be said, but I am the chef in this household. Uh, it is, I guess, my main um, designated uh, chore. And honestly, I do find it a chore. Um, both the making of and consuming of meals is just an absolute ball ache that I could totally do without. Not, obviously I can't do without it, hence why I'm here, but um, sometimes I get joy out of eating, usually if someone else has cooked though. Onion and garlic going in first. Uh, the chicken will also be put in the oil just to kind of brown, I guess that's what they say. Um, but I find that when you put chicken, maybe it's just like a supermarket chicken thing, but uh, when you start trying to fry it in a pan, it just releases a fuck ton of water and everything poaches instead of fries. So I'm gonna leave that till, uh, till the last moment. So I guess, uh, Perhaps anyone's still watching this. Um, I don't know why you're still watching this. <laughs> this was such not a good idea. I'm curious if you've made it this far. Are you a, a kind of long time back in the day Keppel viewer? Um, I mean, I know the answer is probably going to be yes because I can't imagine how anyone who's never seen my channel is going to just stumble on this video of me cooking onions. Um, but yeah, no, please. I sound like such a fucking corporate YouTuber right now, but when I say please leave a comment, I'm, I'm not going for the engagement metrics. I'm just, I genuinely want to hear from you guys. Um, it's exciting for me. It's, you know, I've not really engaged with YouTube at all in several years, um, and the exceptions really have been exceptions, so I hope you are doing well, um, and I suppose maybe I'm making a, a demographic assumption here, but I imagine that most of us probably have sort of moved into a new stage of life since I was last doing regular videos. Um, you know, it's all jobs and haircuts now, isn't it? Yeah! I'm gonna give it another try. It is just sort of not very nice. Which is a real shame, um, and this is certainly not to talk down uh, Turning Point Brewery, who I've had before and really, really enjoyed. Um, I guess it's just a bit of a shame that the one I tried on camera on YouTube was maybe not not for me. 26 minutes left and all I've done is literally just fry some onions, so I am going to have to do some trips up and downstairs. So this is going to be interesting. It is gosh darn chicken time. Uh, I absolutely hate cooking with chicken because, uh, firstly because it is just like, disgusting and cold and slimy to hold and massively unsanitary of course which obviously all raw meat is no prizes for that one um, it also doesn't help I'm not very good at knowing when it's cooked and I usually have to get Ruth's help for this because um, and this isn't just me being an idiot um, I am actually color blind yeah color blind uh, and quite color blind uh, which <laughs> sounds daft but it does actually have like a a legitimate impact on my ability to tell when 
chicken is still pink, for instance. I also don't feel great about uh, eating animal products of any kind, particularly meat. Um, but I'm also, you know, I'm flawed, I'm human. Um, but if anyone wants to tell me that I'm morally wrong for doing so, then I kind of can't really argue with it. At this stage, I'm going to add the very first of my seasonings, uh, which is, if I can get this to focus, uh, it's this Maggie hot liquid seasoning. I like your hot liquid seasoning. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly. Um, stop it. Just a little bit of that, by which I mean a fuck ton of that. I absolutely love this stuff. We only discovered it recently, uh, but since then it's become a staple in pretty much anything I make. Um, to the extent that now I've stopped tasting it in the things that it is in, and yet the things that I don't put it in seem somehow lacking. And then I'm going to follow up on that with just a few chilli flakes. And when I say just a few, I do actually mean just a few because I see people putting like dumping tablespoons into like quite small portions and I don't know how they do it or maybe I just buy really hot ones or something or maybe I'm pathetic. Very possible but I'm going to talk like, there we go, that's maybe, I don't know, between 10 and 15 chilli flakes. Because you've got to have a little bit of kick, but, you know, I don't want to be spending my Sunday on the toilet. As predicted, we are kind of poaching rather than frying, um, which is fine. We'll just wait for the water to boil off and then uh, move on to stage two. Oh, if the camera moved slightly there, it's because I jogged it. Uh, I had to get the memory card out and put a new one in, and you don't care about this, but this is just the process I'm going through. Right, so in the time it took for the files to copy, uh, this is more than ready for us to proceed. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is add all the rest of the seasonings, then kind of top it up with the veg and then hot water and just hope that that stews into a lovely delicious thing. If I seem slightly all over the place it's because I really really am. Uh, ha, fun. Next seasoning I'm going to do is this oak smoked water uh, which I bought in Wales and the idea is that it just kind of gives a smoky flavour without being full of like all the, I don't know, MSG or whatever that's supposedly in a lot of these kind of smoked flavourings. Um, honestly, I very, very rarely actually taste it, but I like to add a bit just to pretend, you know. So in that goes, I'll splash a bit about since I'm not going to taste it anyway. And then I'm also going to use, I'm not sponsored by these people, by the way. Um, they are also Nestle owned, if that's a problem for you, which it is for some people. Uh, but they just happen to make these two really good products. And this is masala chili sauce. Um, got to watch it because it's quite spicy, but just a little bit in the pan. Okay. That's more than a little bit, but we like this stuff, so can't argue. Then a couple of chicken stock cubes, because again, can't go wrong there. I told a lie before, I am actually going to add some more chilli flakes because, yeah, you only live once, don't you? Uh, and then the exciting bit, which I do have to film on my phone. Time to add the stout. Okay, do this one first. I did not, in fact, finish it. Ooh, yeah. And I'm hoping, because of the kind of flavour profile of um, Imperial Stouts in particular, I'm hoping that that's going to have like a kind of almost like a port sort of effect because they are sort of so rich um, and port, as we know, is absolutely fucking delicious in cooking. So hopefully this is not a fucking terrible idea and indeed waste of seven pound twenty five. There we go. I'd like to give it a little taste as well, but this is not fully cooked chicken, so that's probably not a good idea. It is a shame you can't smell this because you are missing out. Oh yes, I might have done a very good thing here. Maybe. And also, since there's a little bit left on the stock cube wrapper, don't pretend that you don't do this too. Um, I've decided on a total impulse I'm going to add some of this, which is broth mix. Basically, if you've not seen this before, it is, I think, pearl barley, um, yellow split peas, and some kind of other grain thing. And it's just really good for sticking in a stew and kind of giving it a bit more substance. I'm not using a huge amount of that, but you don't really need much. And I mean, I said I wasn't gonna add veg and shit, but I've just added a load of other stuff. So I guess I'll just do the rest now. Kidney beans. 
then quite a lot of cabbage, but I imagine that'll kind of compact down. There we go. Um, I know it's perhaps not orthodox to stick cabbage in a meal like this, but to be honest, I don't really care. Um, it'll still work and it's a vegetable, so it's, it's good for me, allegedly. And the next thing I'm gonna do is put this convenient kettle full of hot water into the pan. I'm gonna add quite a bit. Um, you may think that's gonna dilute the stout, but I mean, I don't think you'd want a pure stout stew because that would just be too much. Um, so I actually think the dilution is gonna be good here. Yeah, oh yeah. And now we wait, really. Um, I tend to let it simmer for a whole hour um, just because I'm paranoid about cooking chicken and at least then I know it's done. At the half hour point, we could put in dumplings, um, which obviously I'll need to make. But yeah, the main part of the cooking is now over. Just need to let it get to simmering, put the hat on, and I mean, not walk away, but basically walk away. It's dumpling time, motherfucker. So unnecessary. Um, so, you may be wondering why I have a set of scales here, because surely dumplings are basically like a two ingredient thing. It's and it's a ratio of one to two of those ingredients. So why do I need to weigh it? Well, this perhaps gives you a glimpse, maybe too far into my psyche as a obsessive follower of rules. So it isn't enough for me to know that I need about 70 grams of that and about double of that. No, 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 no. It has to be exactly 70 grams and exactly 150 grams. That is the process. That is what I know. That is what I do. Fuck you. <laughs> I just like to have a process um, and to know exactly what that process is, even if the actual outcome doesn't really matter either way. So this is uh, beef suet. You can use plant suet, but it's just not as tasty. Dumplings are a bit of a weird thing in that they are kind of um, a nostalgic food, a sort of homely food, uh, but not something I think I've ever seen on a, a menu anywhere. But that just means that the restaurants are missing out. And some flour. Oh no, 157. That's it. In the bin, gotta start again. <laughs> oh, that stew be cooking. And now we get our hands dirty with a little bit of water and a little bit of this. Oh, you love it. I actually really don't love it. It's more mess than I am really happy to deal with at any time, but if the end result is tasty tasty dumplings then I am willing to do it. So I figured um, while I'm doing this, and I, it's a fairly mindless activity that I don't need to stress about, I still will obviously, but you know I don't actually need to, um, maybe now would be a good time to talk about uh, some other things other than flour and suet and <laughs> my system, my process that will be observed. Um, so I guess I've talked about kind of, or talked around uh, job interviews that I have going on and stuff um, without actually t talking about what, what jobs I'm looking at, what I do currently, what I've been doing for the last five years. <laughs> um, and part of that is very deliberate because, you know, I think the days of me being totally blasé about, for example, my home address um, online, those days are over. You know, in first year, it was like freely available information, not only the town that I went to or the university campus I lived on even, but the exact room in the right exact block, <laughs> um, which, yeah, probably not the smartest move from <coughs> younger Neil there. But, um, so yeah, I'm not under the impression that anyone's gonna be coming and stalking me based on anything I say in this video, but, just doesn't hurt to, to obfuscate a little bit, I guess. Um, but suffice it to say that I work in a uh, fairly specific niche of uh, a technical role. Um, that's kind of as much information as I want to give, really. I'm now dividing my dumplings into, I guess, eight, maybe. Uh, I'm saying maybe as if it isn't strictly eight every single time. It's the rule. But it's nice to pretend that I'm spontaneous and that maybe I could do six dumplings instead of eight. No chance. Hmm. I say that, I have actually somehow ended up with six. How do I do that? Start again. So yeah, um, work life isn't the worst. You know, it, it 
could be much worse. Um, and I'm obviously, I feel fortunate to have a job. Um, doesn't mean I wouldn't rather be like a multi-millionaire who doesn't have to work, but you know, we can't have everything. Oh God, these are ending up a little more sticky than normal. I need to start measuring the water as well, down to the milliliter. <laughs> That's the problem, it's the only variable. So if anyone is watching this who uh, has commented before in the obviously distant past, um, or on a live stream or anything, I'm interested if you want to tell me, uh, what are you doing now? What's your job? Are you a multi-millionaire who doesn't have to work? That would be nice. But uh, I still remember all the usernames, all the avatars from back in the day, so uh, be interested to see how everyone's doing. Got more raw dumplings, and now I've got to wash these detty detty hands. Okay, this is phone filming Capel Marsh, just because I couldn't be asked to set up the camera again. Uh, so it's dumpling time, so we're going to take the lid off. Oh, that is really bubbling, maybe a bit too much. Uh, I'm going to take it down a bit. And then, yeah, basically, just sort of stick the dumplings in. There's not much to it, really. Plop. One, plop. Two, plop. Three. Sorry, I'm not used to filming on a phone. <laughs> Four, five. This smells absolutely gorgeous. Seven, eight. And ideally, they would be a bit more distributed than that because they are really going to swell up. Well, like I am just thinking about it. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah. Now, lid goes on. Um... And then, yeah, we basically cook those for 20 minutes with the lid on, take the lid off for the last 10, and then it's fucking eating time. Hell yeah. It's dinner time. Those dumplings are looking absolutely splendid. And that chicken is most definitely cooked. Okay. Presentationally, not my best work. I hope the angle I've chosen here isn't too confrontational. <laughs> First thing I will freely admit is that it's not the most uh, aesthetic of meals. It's a load of shit in brown sauce, like, what can you do? However, it does smell like really good. There we go, that's better. You wanna see me, not the shitty food. The bit I'm most anxious to try is the sauce, and so obviously I've chosen, I think, the best implement for drinking sauce. I can't think of any common utensil that maybe would have served me better there. Yeah, that's okay. Fuck, that's got a kick to it, which is what I wanted, but I forgot I had put all the chili flakes in. Mm. Okay, um, it's really nice. Um, it's genuinely really nice. Uh, I... I'm getting such strong winter vibes, as in maybe I should have waited three to four months before making this. Um, but hey, I can come back in December and make it again. Um, I do think, perhaps, uh, I would not use the £7.25 stout. Guinness would have been fine. Um, although, I do maintain that there's an, a sort of element to this, which an imperial stout has that um, kind of regular not quite so strong stouts would not give it. Or maybe I'm just trying to justify my stupid financial decisions. It's a really tasty, um, very, very wintry meal, and I'm okay with that. So, I know some people are a bit weird about like watching people eat and listening to it, and I kind of get that, so I'm not gonna make you sit here and, uh, because obviously you have no choice, you know, you, you can't exit off the video or anything. I do not allow it. Um, so yeah. I'll eat this by myself. We'll see if it stands up as a, a whole meal, if it gets a bit too much, or I don't know. I can report that dinner was indeed very nice. Uh, I actually served myself a little bit too much and couldn't finish, but it was very nice, uh, which I did have. Um, and yeah, I look forward to having it again probably tomorrow. <laughs> so this has uh, been my day in the life, although it's pretty much actually just been making dinner and having a haircut, but I mean, some days are just like that. Um, my plan for the rest of the evening is, I think, to edit this video that you're watching now, and then just chill till bedtime <laughs> on a Saturday. Or oh, it's all go with me. Thank you for watching, um, really. It's been kind of nice to get the camera and the tripod out again. Ooh, not for like naughty stuff, just, just, just for vlogs, you know. <laughs> um, I am obviously not gonna 
make any promises about when I'll do it again. Uh, I would quite like to do a live stream, but I think I'm entirely okay with uploading a video that gets zero views, but there's something quite debilitating when you're doing a live stream and there's no one there. It's just shouting into the void, which is a, yeah, a bit of a metaphor. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And it's been, yeah, lovely to do this and I shall have to do it again sometime. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.